Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daddy Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you to let your light shine. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 16 it says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle or a lamp and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick or on a lampstand and it gives light unto all that are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven when Jesus Christ comes into our life or well, Jesus Christ is the light of the world he said I am the light of the world but then when he comes into our life he puts his light in us <clears throat> and then as he said to the apostles the disciples and the people that were listening on the Sermon on the Mount you are the light of the world you become that light that light shines in you in me and we need to learn to not be fearful so that we can let our light shine let our example of our faith in Jesus Christ and the life that we live be an example to all men everywhere our families our work colleagues our sports teammates just the society that we live in in general our church uh, our fellow believers that is why it is so important for us because when we first come to the Lord of course we still have a bit of flesh to deal with and the Holy Spirit it says in Romans 8 13 helps you to crucify that flesh and the way he's done it with me is well of course we have to learn to be forgiving but he taught me to fill up on the Word of God to meditate on it to memorize it and keep memorizing it lots and lots of it so that because what happens is it says in, I think it's 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 10, 4, it says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And here's the, here, here's the key verse here, and bringing every thought, every thought captive unto the obedience of Christ and being in a readiness to avenge your disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. The way that we crucify the flesh is that the Holy Spirit gets us to meditate on the scriptures and submit our mind, bring our mind under the obedience of Christ, under the word of God, so that the Christ, the light of Christ in us can shine out into the world. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. And then the light of Christ, the creator of the universe, the God of heaven, and his Son Jesus Christ, that light can shine in you out to this world that is dying and lost and going to a lost, condemned eternity. God bless you. Have a great day.